Can this one simple ingredient make your rum cocktails taste even better? That's today's fun experiment. So join me for a little deep dive. Hello, rum fans. Welcome back to the channel. But for all of you that are new around these parts, hello. My name's Steve the Barman, and on my yellow channel, yeah, I'm still working on a yellow shirt. We will get there. But here on my yellow channel, this is mainly about fun rum education. So if that sounds like fun, make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for all my future videos. But don't forget, I've now got five other YouTube channels, all with their own specific niches and different discussions. So go and check those out in the description below. Now, long-term viewers will know exactly what this is. I rock this out on multiple different channels, even the Drink Stuff channel, the cocktail channel over there. What is it? For those of you who don't know, what is it? Well, this is my saline solution. This is essentially salt in water. Now, I my palate has changed dramatically over the last sort of five, six, seven years, but even more so over COVID. I used to have a really, really sweet tooth. But as I've got older, I my sweet tooth is still there, but I kind of appreciate layers and balance a lot better than what I did. And this has become my secret weapon for a lot of cocktails. What this is, is essentially a four to one ratio. So your one part would be salt and your four would be water. Now, what I use, because I'm Cornish, obviously, uh, even though I live sort of near Essex, I use Cornish sea salt because it's obviously a lot better than Malden sea salt. But whatever you've got, but it's rock salt or whatever you've got around the world, a, a, a fairly decent higher grade, not table salt, but a fairly higher grade of salt. So it is important to weigh this out. I think that is the general kind of consensus over all these blocks is to weigh it out. So don't measure it out, weigh it in like in mils, weigh it out. So what I've done to create this bottle here, and this is just an old Miss Betty's Bitters bottle. This is essentially 20 grams of Cornish sea salt with 80 grams of water. Now this all started for me with the pina colada. And I want to go mid say 2010s, say 2000, 2015 for argument's sake. I got introduced to the pina colada with a pinch of salt added to it. And it kind of blew my little mind of what the salt actually did to the coconut and the pineapple in that cocktail. You know, I love pineapple and I love coconut, but that layer of salt in there as well just really emphasized those flavors and just kind of did this whole dance on your tongue. And steadily, I've been kind of playing about and adding a lot, a few drops of saline solution here and there to different cocktails. But today, what I'm going to do, I've got four different cocktails here ready to go, all as I would normally make them. But then I'm going to add a little bit of saline solution to them to see whether that improves them or not. So let me talk you through the four cocktails that I've got here. Very quickly, as these are experiments, they go in my experimentation glasses. I could have done them properly, but... You know, I like to waffle, so there's a bit of ice in it. So, classic, they're exactly the same to be fair. Classic daiquiri. Five, two, one and a half kind of daiquiri. That's what I've done for that. Classic daiquiri. I've then got my, my rock star mode daiquiri, my guava daiquiri, which just, if you've never tried a guava daiquiri, do it. Honestly, it's one of the best flavoured, uh, best flavoured daiquiris you'll ever taste. So I've got a guava daiquiri. And then what I've got here are two cocktails. These are full-size cocktails. These are half-size cocktails, okay? So, obviously, daiquiri is just rum, lime, sugar, blah, blah, blah. What I've got here is half a Mai Tai. So, done properly, as I would do uh, with my worthy, two worthy selects. So, worthy, uh, so, sorry, two worthy parks, worthy selects, and worthy 109 in there. And then I've got the Hurricane, which is just my dark rum, Plantation OD, with passion fruits, a little bit of passion fruit, pulp in there, and uh, lemon juice. So all of these in their base form taste absolutely, you know, as I would do, banging, banging cocktails. Now, what I would recommend with saline solution is about five drops, four to five drops, if you've done a four to one ratio in a normal size cocktail. Okay, so for these, I'm going to start off with two drops. And then for these, I'm going to start off with four drops in these but then see how we go. The pinnacle for me so far, four, dro four drops in that guava daiquiri is absolutely stunning. 
So 50 ml of rum, 15 ml of, oh, sorry, 20 ml of lime juice, and 15 ml of guava syrup. That saline solution, that saltiness, really powers through, through that guava. That is really nice. It's not quite hitting it. I'm going to add another drop to that in a second, just to kind of see there. But I don't want to go any further with that guava daiquiri. Four drops in a normal guava daiquiri. And the fruitiness. And this is kind of what I suspect with this. When it comes to fruitiness, you know, that's where the saline solution comes into its own. So the guava, I'm really, really happy with for four drops in a normal size. When it comes to the Mai Tai and the Hurricane, I'll be honest, I cannot taste the saline solution at all. So what I'm going to do, as I say, these were half cocktails. I'm now going to add another uh, two drops to each of these and one more drop to the normal daiquiri. Now round two, we've got dramatic changes because now the daiquiri, really the saltiness in the daiquiri really does come through. Three drops. Now, this is going to be a Marmite thing in a plain daiquiri. It really is going to be a Marmite thing. Some of you are going to absolutely love that. And some of you are going to be like, no, this is salt. I can taste salt. The funny thing for me, I, I quite like that. I love what the salt does with a flavor. I'm not necessarily a fan of what the salt does as a plain traditionalist it's kind of probably where my head is i want i'm expecting a classic daiquiri i couldn't really taste it with two drops but three drops in there is definitely evident you know one drop that's how powerful that stuff is now when it comes to the fruitier cocktails remember these are half cocktails the saline solution on that now so i've got four drops of saline solution in half a hurricane really does elevate it doesn't take anything away from the sweetness but it really does elevate that passion fruit in there and all of a sudden you've got you've got passion fruit on steroids that really comes out i'm not saying it's like sweeter but just a flavorful passion fruit the mai tai is still not hitting it for me so after adding one more drop of saline solution to that mai tai that is now on a level where i'm like oh what that done so we're now up to, what, five drops in half a Mai Tai. That's a bit bonkers to think 10 drops in a full-size Mai Tai. I had no, but five drops in there really elevates the almond, the orja syrup in there, but really elevates the funkiness of the rumps. And it really draws your attention to that sort of overripe banana-iness coming out from the, the Jamaican-worthy part rumps. And that has just blown my little mind because that has just gone into little different depths, different different layers of flavour in there. And that is absolutely stunning. My least favourite, if I'm being brutally honest, my least favourite is the kind of the daiquiri. So what I would surmise by that, if you're just going plain mojito, plain daiquiri, perhaps not bother with the saline solution. But when it comes to flavours, when it comes to enhancing fruits and maybe nuts and spice and all that sort of stuff i highly recommend i'm going to be playing a lot with this now coming forward maybe on the green channel and uh, not so much on the red channel but definitely on the green channel i've already used this a little bit but what that's done to the mai tai and the hurricane i really like that so it's a question for you lot if any of you ever used a saline solution in any of your cocktails, or maybe a pinch of salt, if you don't want to make a saline solution, a pinch of salt. I know a lot of people do a pinch of salt, but let me know in the comments below, what have you found? What cocktails have you made with a pinch of salt, especially rum cocktails, that kind of, you know, make the difference? Does it elevate, or do you just hate it? You know, oh no, I don't want salt in my cocktail, 